Welcome to the Daily Prophetic Word. The Daily Prophetic Word for Thursday, the 1st of August 2019 is Why are you not listening? Please watch this video to the end because I have important information about the escape of the bride and about the false understanding of many people. Now let us return to the Daily Prophetic Word. Why are you not listening? My prophets are asking you for help. But are you listening? You hear their words and then you forget them. They ask you for help in my missions to the nations, but you close your hearts and use your resources that I have given you for your worldly games. Why are you not listening? Do you believe that your daily life is more important than the advancing of my kingdom onto earth? Do you believe that I will bless people who do not bless my prophets? Why have you closed your heart and darkened your soul for my messengers? I send them to you because you are my children, but you shout at them and call them names. Why are you not listening? Turn to my way, open your hearts and souls and support my missions and prophets. Today you must start to walk towards me. How? By sharing what I have given to you. Or do you believe that you have created your wealth by yourself? Repent and return. And this was a daily prophetic word for the 1st of August 2019. Yes, this is another word from the Holy Prophet about money. And unfortunately, there are many people outside who are very, very sensitive on this issue. Unfortunately, there are many people who misunderstand all these words. Every Christian, no matter of what denominations or whatever, if you want to advance the kingdom, he is called for us to share his resources. When will you people understand that it is required to share your resources? I'm sharing my resources too with the people. I'm giving too. Everybody is doing that. If you cl claim and stick to your money and claim to stick to the world, you will be defeated. You will never take part in the physical escape of the bride. Why are you not understanding that money is not important? Watch this video today in the Great Exodus series. I will talk about this more. But now if you already as the escape of the bride, there is another misunderstanding that is popping up from the people. People say nothing happened in July. This is absolutely not true. The physical, the spiritual escape of the bride has taken place. Why do you think there was this hype of the 17th of July? People, again, do not understand. Everybody is only looking for the escape and for running away from this place. But that it will be done in phases, nobody has understood. In July, on 17th of July, heaven opened. And the spiritual accounting of the bride that will escape has taken place. Spiritually, the bride has already escaped because everybody is already written down who will be physically removed from this earth. But these people, some of them have seen it by themselves. Some of them have gone to heaven spiritually at this day. There are many videos out there where people were coming out of their body, had outer body experience around that 17th of July. So the escape of the bride spiritually has to have taken place in July. Many people do not understand what the kingdom of heaven is about. It is not physical, it is spiritual. First and all, foremost of all, it is spiritually. You have to understand that. A physical removal, a rescue from the calamities that will come will take place. And that will happen until the 24th of September 2019. 
because then the other phase is that is before the Red Rider will start. The first seal will be broken in August. The White Rider will go forth. The preparation and positioning of the forces, good and evil, will take place in August. But the physical removal will not be done before the first seal, but it will be done before the second seal will open. And as soon as the physical removal will take place, then the remnant, and that is what we are here about to do, then the remnant will go into the great exodus. Then the remnant will leave the world in Babylon. Because from that time forward, the Red Rider will start, war will come, famine will come, starvation will come, death and Hades will come. But you people, you have to understand, for you there's only this, you only say an escape must be physically. No! Everything, you have to understand what happened in July. Why was this great hype there? Why were many YouTube channels pointing to 17th of July? Because this was the time when the bride and the number of the bride was determined and written in the book for rescue. The spiritual escape of the bride has taken place in July. Now we are waiting for the rescue from this world so that the escape can be, can be physically. And this will take place until the 24th of September. And this will also include the 40 days that many other channels, like Minister Revealed, are talking about. This is the time that's coming up. The 40 days must be there as it was in the time in the book of Jonah. And as it was uh, with, with Jesus before the ministry starts, the time of temptation. This 40 days. And then the physical escape is there. And then the ministry starts, and then the great escape will take place. That's the starting point. And this is after 40 and 50 days. Another thing that most people do not understand. They say, oh, there's only 50 days, and then there's Pentecost. No. There's 49 days, 50 days, and then another 50 days. And then you will come to the true Pentecost. That is the same here, the same pattern. We had the first 40 days and 50 days, that is a spiritual period. And now you will come to the physical period. Because everything is now in positioning, going forward, and manifestation. This is the next 40 to 50 days period. It is very easy to understand. But people make a lot of story about this. Call other people names for no purpose. Who has made you a judge if somebody is good or bad? Who has made you a judge over that? You cannot understand that there is a spiritual and a physical side. Then you have not understand the heavenly kingdom. I am sorry. Please. Understand also that there is not only a seven year tribulation period, but there are 14 years, two seven year tribulation periods. That is in the same manner again, when the really manifestation of this tribulation and punishment will come down. That is the trumpet period. That is a physical tribulation that will hurting so many people and many people will die. But you have another spiritual tribulation period. What are the seal periods? Seven years. So we are starting now in the seal period. This is the time of the remnant of the church that will end at the sixth seal with the rapture of the church. Do not be tossed with a wind like a feather. Do not be thrown like a paper from one side to the other side. Stay fast on the kingdom because repent. The kingdom is at hand. Open your mind to receive the Holy Spirit and he will tell you that what I'm saying is true, that there is a spiritual and a physical side on it. Another example that will give you the truth about it. If you read in the book of Daniel about the coming of uh, the angels, when the angels said, I 
have heard your prayer a long time ago. First I had to fight with the principalities, and Michael came to help me, and then after 21 days I could reach you. You know what this means? That there is a spiritual and a physical side. The spiritual side was, re was received long before the manifestation took place. His prayer was heard 21 days before the angel appeared to him physically. So there is a spiritual side and a physical side. At this time in the book of in, in the book of Daniel, in this issue, it was 21 days. But that does not mean that this time is 21 days. It can, but it does not have to be. It can also be 40 or 50 days. So you have to understand that this is a separation. Not everything is going according to your plans. Not everything is, is according to your wishes. Everything is done according to the wish of the Father and the timetable and timelines of, the, of heaven and not of your own personal timeline. And physical escape of the bride will take place. And this will be the starting point of the Great Exodus. Because people were asking me, when will the Great Exodus take place? When are we moving out? This will be the time when the bride will be removed physically. This is the starting point of the Great Exodus. Uh, unfortunately, I can hear you already grumbling. Oh, we wanted to escape in July. I hope and I really pray for all of you for all of my people who follow me and for all of people who are not. I pray that you were registered in July in the book for the escape of the bride, that you are part of the bride and that you do not have to go with us in the great exodus and go through the seal period, the spiritual trumpet period, the dress rehearsal of the manifestation of the trumpets on earth that will follow the next seven years, not this one, not the first seven, the second seven years. And everything will be finished in the year, year 2033, 2000 years after the death of Jesus Christ, exactly as it prophesied and exactly as it's written in scripture. So I'm sorry if there is a misunderstanding of people who say that we had to be physically removed from the earth in July. Your understanding is not correct. So don't throw dirt on other people. Please. Hold your reins. Stand strong. You have to stand strong against the evil forces. Do not join them. Do not be thrown like a feather by the wind. Stand strong for the Father. I love you all so dearly. I hope that you will understand. Now let us continue with our book of love and the next thesis, or 95 thesis, the restoration and reformation of the church. So the next, the next one is True sons and daughters of God will despise death and Satan, despise gold, riches and worldly honors. And now the philosophical pointer. Many people ask me why I'm reading the philo philosophical pointer. This should help you to think about your worldly situation so that you understand that you have to come out of the world and out of Babylon. As God loves you, you shall love your neighbor. This is very important for all people who take names and throw them to other people. As God loves you, you shall love your neighbor. Again, why is it for all of you so important to talk all the time about money? When it's written all over the Bible that from the start of the Bible until the end of the Bible in Revelation, everything is about sharing and caring and resources and love and support. Do you, have you never read the book of Acts? Everybody there is about coming together in love, unity and support and share their access 
Nobody is taking the wealth away from anybody, but many people have access and they can share from their access. You do not even understand the, the small principle of sharing and caring of the heavenly kingdom. How do you want then to escape, physically escape as bright? Where is your oil in your lamp? You do not understand. Your mindset is completely still in the world. Your mindset is still on working for money. Your mindset is still on temptation in the world. Your mindset is still on luxuries in this world. You have to come out of this mindset. You have to come out of the world and out of Babylon and walk that path towards the holy mountain because there the remnant will be ruptured into paradise. And if you're still fighting and making money an issue, then you are definitely not part of the bride because you have not the understanding of the heavenly kingdom yet. So please read the book, the, the Bible, the Holy Scriptures, the book of Revelation again, and gain more understanding about sharing and caring. It's not about giving funds to somebody to make them rich. Is it about sharing the resources to advance the kingdom? Please also watch our other video today, The Great Exodus Series, where we talk about what it means to be a Christian only. Thank you that you have attended and that you have understood now about the escape of the bride. And please stay away from calling names, stay away from saying something bad of people. Because as a Christian, you should not do that. You should, should show forth brotherly love. It is also not your thing to call forth other people to repentance, if maybe you have not repented yourself. So please stop it and come back to the Father and to Jesus. My name is Michael. I am the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And I wish you a blessed day. And I will see you again for the next Daily Prophetic Word tomorrow. Maranatha.